is very interesting. I think it's, it's very interesting to think that we, at our age, may have something to contribute to young people. If she enjoys it, if she, if she wants to listen to it again, then that'll be, that'll be great. Um, I'm a bit nervous, but really, really excited to be here. I'm really looking forward to, to finding out about someone's life um, and composing as well, because I've never done a project this big. It's just really exciting to be involved in something like this with young people, and I just think, gosh, this will be great. When she came, when we met for the first time, uh, obviously uh, we had to introduce ourselves. <laughs> and she wanted to know all about me and my musical life. And uh, so I told her that you will be interested in this because I didn't start playing piano until I was nine. I had my notebook that I took with me and I also recorded what she said and then I sort of went through it again and took what I thought were the main bits from it, the most important bits. She's very outspoken and outgoing and she talks a lot which is very helpful when you're trying to get her to talk. So yeah, she's just great. I suppose I've tried to give a kind of almost like a, a coherent linear structure to it so it tells her life but when I first walked in in the first interview she she played me a recording of her husband playing a piece by Debussy um, called The Girl with the Flaxen Hair. I've used that m motif that starts at the beginning in, in the composition. Uh, it's supposed to sound like Dawn, the opening, because she, her father um, had peach nurseries and he, he used to go out at dawn and kind of tend to his peaches in his greenhouses. So I suppose it just starts with her childhood. I think there's the sort of music that is part of you, like all the hymns and the psalms and things that are that have from childhood that I've just learnt and sung sort of each week or each day. Then there's other music that just takes you out of yourself and to another plane altogether. Hello there. Hello. Yeah. As the as the strings are playing their C-like things, the voices yeah. will be um, making hissing noises like the C. So it'll be like yeah. sh it'll gradually yeah. sound like water moving back and forth. And then <laughs> maybe as an extra point, I've also got in um, if they could catawall like a cat, like yes. outside your window yes. that you were talking yes. about. I was thinking because. I don't know why that adds a sort of quite it's quite eerie but it would yes. I think it would work going yeah. against the sea as well if that if that came in. Yeah. And I think we'd still have strings we'd have strings and voices here and I may bring in some percussion just to have a beat and I was what I was thinking actually would it would be quite nice to actually have some dancers if I could yeah. if we could. Although I've never been able to dance myself I mean I'm spastic I was born like it. Um I've always danced inside myself, and so the rhythm is really important. My husband and I loved Frank Sinatra, 
You could hear every word he could sing. He had the most wonderful breath control. He was a superb singer. And that I like, but most of the time, I can't even hear the words that are being sung, and it's just thump, 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 and it doesn't appeal. I'm afraid that doesn't really appeal. Makes me terribly old fashioned. <laughs> I mean, music can move me to tears. I don't know if it can you, but it certainly can move me to tears. And uh, so I would love some lovely melodious sounds to come through. I sort of treated it like it's it's a film and I've got I've got the screenplay and I'm just trying to convey all these emotions and events. My husband uh, was quite fond of jazz and I must confess I never really quite took to jazz. But I can appreciate it and enjoy a little, but it wouldn't be my favourite. Piano music, I suppose classical piano music would be my favourite, really. Rachmaninoff and Chopin and all those lovely composers. From interviewing her, it's, it's so obvious that she is a very positive person. And after every interview, I'd come away feeling very positive about anything. Um, and I think, I, I hope this piece makes everyone feel positive as well. Well, I've asked him, because I was a teacher of the blind, to compose a piece of music and play it blindfold. If he's a good musician, he shouldn't have too much problem doing it blindfold because I watched him the other day playing the piano and he was very accurate and he very rarely looked at his fingers anyway. What did you think of my idea? About um, composing a piece, of, a piece of music blindfold? Yes. My first reaction, <laughs> I was very surprised, but I have decided to take it on. You have? I have, yes. Well, I'm very pleased because I think it's an unusual project mm -hmm. and I think it's something quite different. I'm actually really excited. Um, I just want her to hear it, and because it's been quite a long time since she heard anything from it. Um, so, yeah, I, I talked to her a couple of days ago, and she's really excited as well. So, hopefully, hopefully it'll go well. I am very nervous, <laughs> mainly because I'm I'm playing my own piece, as well as quite a lot of other people's. But mainly the, that I'm playing my own. I think if I was just so if someone else was going to play it, I'd be a lot more calm because they'd just have to deal with it. But I've got to deal with it, but it should be okay. Yeah, so the orchestra behind me played my piece for the first time and so they did a really, really good job since that was the first time. They really... <laughs> it sounded brilliant, actually. I'm really looking forward to it. So it sounded really good. The evening is going to be wonderful. It's very exciting. It was just wonderful to be involved in making something beautiful. And the fact
know, these young people have written the orchestration for so many different instruments too. It's remarkable. And to have those dancers made Valerie's evening and mine. I was in tears, I must confess, but it made the evening for us absolutely lovely. I hope, you know, everybody goes on from strength to strength. Because it's been an incredible project, actually, hasn't it? You know, to something quite new, I'm sure, and, and stretched these young people incredibly, really. So, yes. Oh, an emotional evening. An emotional evening, but a really wonderful one. It's just me playing piano. Um, I was going to have a cello, but then I... I just remembered her saying that her favourite instrument was the piano, so I just thought, yeah, I'll, I'll give that to her. <laughs> I'll perform it and um, I'll just keep it to piano.